the surface mounted Guardian, SGI, and Microtech 2 bearing isolators are the next members of the innovative and maintenance friendly closure bearing isolator family. Both solid and split surface mounted designs eliminate the need to machine bearing housings. This video will explain how to install a surface mounted bearing isolator. Equipment must be thoroughly inspected prior to installation of the surface mounted bearing isolator. All system power should be disconnected and all standard safety procedures should be followed throughout the installation. Check that the shaft surface does not have any burrs, nicks, or scratches and clean all foreign debris from the area. The shaft should include a chamfer to aid in the installation of the seal. All paint should be removed from the bore surface where the seal is to be bonded. Lightly scuff any smooth bonding surfaces to promote better adhesion. Then use a degreaser to remove any grease or oil from the bonding surface. The back of the grooved stator should also be free of any grease or oil prior to epoxy application to ensure optimum adhesion. On a clean disposable surface, dispense equal amounts of parts A and B epoxy. Thoroughly mix the two parts until they are blended well. This could take up to two minutes. On the surface mounted isolator, apply a small amount of provided lubricant to the rotor o-rings. Lubrication can also be added to the shaft to aid in installation. Now, liberally apply the mixed epoxy on the back of the bearing isolator stator groove, being careful not to get any epoxy on the rotor or the stator ID. To achieve best adhesion, the surface mounted bearing isolator should be installed onto the housing face within 5 minutes of mixing the epoxy. Push the seal evenly onto the shaft by hand. Position the notch in the stator at the 12 o'clock position, which aligns the stator drain port to 6 o'clock. Press the seal assembly against the housing face. Check that the seal is fully seated against the housing. The rotor o-rings should supply enough force to hold the seal against the housing. A small amount of epoxy will extrude from the interface and should be wiped off once the seal has been installed, carefully inspect the sealing area, making sure no damage has occurred during installation. Surface mounted SGI designs are provided with conductive epoxy to maintain an electrical contact between the bearing isolator and motor frame. Room temperature curing can be achieved in 4 hours at or above 75 degrees. For faster cure times, to achieve a maximum conductivity and adhesion, Heat the bond to 150 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes and allow it to cool. Pot life for the mixed epoxy is 10 minutes at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If you need written instructions for how to install surface mounted bearing isolators, please go to garlock.com to download the instructions. If you require split installation instructions for surface mounted designs, Please visit the Garlock Family of Companies YouTube channel and view the Split Guardian installation video. If you have any questions about specific applications, contact Garlock Closure Application Support at 1866 Closure.